Hey, how you doing today? I am Tadina Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about why is it taking God so long? So if the enemy been successful in drawing your attention to, you know, how long it's taking, you know, and you starting to just get weary, you starting to, you know, lose hope, and you're like, Tequila, I don't have that much time left. You might be looking at your age, you know, and you just like, Tequila, how much longer? Here's the thing. Understand, our ways are not God's ways, okay? Your thoughts are not God's thoughts. Your time is not God's appointed time, okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11 says, He has made everything beautiful in his time, and we must begin to understand that in the waiting period, God is making your love story beautiful. See, scriptures say, What God has joined together, let no man separate. God doesn't even want you to separate your own love story because the truth is many of us feel like we are ready, you know, for this marriage to come together right now. However, you may feel that way, but when you look at, when you take a real honest look at yourself, you might see a fear of commitment. You might still be dealing with trust issues. You might still be dealing with a rejection wound, right? So there's, there's more things that's still going on inside of you that God sees. And when God sees these things that are, you know, going on inside of you, God sees these as these are some things that can potentially separate his God ordained marriage. So he keeps you in a divine separation so that you can begin to work on these things so that he can purge out the trust issue, right? And move you into a space of trusting again, loving again, right? So we got to begin to understand that God is making everything beautiful in its time, okay? Matthew chapter um, 7, it talks about building your house on the rock. The house represents you. The house represents your spouse. The house represents, you know, your character, the foundation the two of you are built on, identity, work, right? You got to understand that in the waiting period, okay, God is tearing down the sand because it talks about in Matthew chapter 7, a house that's built on sand is going to come crashing down, right? But a house that's built on a rock, it will stand the test of time. And the house that is built on a rock, the reason why it can stand the test of time is because God has built you and your husband or wife. God has taken the two of you through, you know, your own test, right? He has, you know, uh, purify the things that need to be purified out of your out of your heart, out of your mind, out of your soul, right? He has brought correction, right? He has taught the two of you a few things, right? He built the house on a rock, but the house that's built on sand, the sand is insecurity. Sand is low self-worth. Sand is low self-esteem. Sand is, you know, lack of character. Sand is unfaithfulness, right? That's sand. So God is like, no, I want to build my house, the God or name marriage, both spouses on the rock. And it takes time. OK, it takes time. So instead of allowing the enemy to keep drawing your attention to how long it's taken, I want you to begin to help yourself to identify these are the changes, you know, God has already made in, in me in my spouse. Right. In the love story. I want you to begin to sit on and, and, and I want you to be strategic with this. I want you to write this stuff down and I want you to ask yourself, what changes has God made in you? What are the changes you see taking place in your spouse? Since the first day God revealed this person to be your uh, God or husband or wife and all the way up until today, what changes have you seen taking place in your spouse? How has God brought correction in your love story? How many counterfeits has God removed out of your love story? How has your life improved since starting on this journey? What are some of the things that God has done in your life and in your love story that you couldn't do on your own? Many of you, the enemy has slandered your name. You couldn't bring correction. You couldn't vindicate your own name. You needed God to do that. When your spouse was thinking the wrong thoughts concerning you, you needed God to come in and bring correction. You couldn't do that. No matter how many times you try to talk to this individual, you needed God to come in and correct your spouse. Right? Where do you see growth in your spouse? Where do you see the growth? At? Do you even see growth, maturity, you know, development happening in your spouse? 
See, because again, the reason why I'm asking you these questions because the enemy would love to keep you focused on the time. But I want to turn your attention to looking at what God is doing in your love story. How have you grown throughout this process? How have you grown in your identity? How have you grown in God? How have you grown in spiritual warfare? Begin to take a look at these things. Who are the people God has pulled you away from? Because think about it. If God never revealed to you, you have a God or name's husband or wife, these things that I'm bringing to your attention, you know, these questions I'm asking you, right? Um, you know, if God never revealed you have a God or name love story, who knows where you will be at this time today? You probably would be the same person you was, you know, five years ago. You probably be around the same people, hidden enemies, frenemies, right? If it wasn't for God, you know, letting you know that's an enemy right there, you know, pulling you away from this individual. See, God, he tell us, he will let you know that's your husband, that's your wife, right? He let us know that he has a God-ordained love story for us, right? He, he, he's speaking to the desire, what you want, right? And you don't, what, what we don't know in the beginning when God revealed, you know, this is your husband, this is your wife, what we don't understand is that as I say yes to God, now, in order to get the marriage in order to you know get the husband or get the wife god has to take me through this process of pruning of purging you got to purge these the things the enemy has you know sent into my life he got to purge these things out of my life and that's where a lot of us are falling at that's that's the stuff that we can't seem to we having a hard time to handle put it like that because god pulling you away from family members he pulling you away from friends right He's exposing the enemy, right? You didn't even think this person was the enemy. He's exposing them, right? You know, he's he's God is holding you accountable, stretching you, right? And you're like, God, I ain't, you know, I ain't signed up for all of this. <laughs> but God is like, listen, when you stand in for, when you say yes to God, you know, for a God or day marriage promise, this is what it requires, right? So we got to begin to take our eyes away from how much time is taking. Stop looking at your age. God knows. You know, he knows you. He knows how old you are. He knows this. Okay. And he's still going to fulfill your heart desire because he's the one who gave you the desire. Okay. You desire children. He's going to he's going to give you that desire. Okay. You just got to believe God on that level. See, that's the other thing, too. In this process, your faith is being tested. And your faith being tested, but also your faith. God is helping to increase your faith, okay? We go from faith to faith, glory to glory, okay? So understand, you know, God is making everything beautiful in his time. Don't allow the enemy to keep drawing your attention to the amount of time it's taking because in the time, we see God moving on your behalf. This is why I begin to ask you those questions. If you can identify God has brought correction to my spouse, if you can see maturity you know, uh, manifest in your spouse. If you can see how God has has improved your life, how your finances have gotten better. If you can see how God, you know, has brought vindication to your name, how God has elevated you and promoted you, right? And God has removed this kind of fear and, you know, protected you from the enemy's attack. If you can identify these things, that means God is in your love story and he is working on your behalf. So don't focus on the time it's taking. Focus on the progress that is being made. Focus on who you are becoming in this process. Focus on your success. Focus on how your life is improving. Because of your obedience to the Lord, focus on the man or the woman, referring to your spouse, who they are becoming in this process. Okay? So that is it. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.